the standard view is that space and time exist even if there's nobody around. But we've shown that time and space are tools of animal perception. They're the way that we animals make sense of the universe. We carry them around with us like turtles with shells. And that space does not have any independent existence. We have five different reasons why that's true that are all inarguable. And the same with time. So once you've removed time and space as actual entities outside of the animal observer, you've shown that you can't have any grand unified theory of the universe without bringing the observer into it. In other words, we're looking for a, a way to merge biology with physics if the end result is supposed to be an understanding about what's going on here with nature of the universe, a true understanding.